Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Hope you have a wonderful day. In today's video, we actually received somewhat news with our car order. Mm -hmm. um, so a few, what, nine months ago, eight months ago, back in... Yeah, no, not that I'm pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> so um, seven months ago, we ordered a Tesla Model Y in Australia. So in today's mm. video, I guess we're looking at the breakdown what does it involve mm. and if you are thinking of purchasing the same car so how much is it yep. and then it's not really related to our fire journey but it's just something that we want to share with you guys so um especially when you're buying brand new i never actually buy brand new um vehicle. Me neither never so this is ever. the very first and probably the only time yeah i think so so in our channel normally we talk about saving uh, budgeting mm -hmm. uh personal finance and some tips and tricks about side hustles. And today we're talking about days is maybe about more finance, but yeah. not really related to our fire journey. <laughs> and it's pretty much against yep. the fire journey. Why the reason we're doing it? Because um, it's more emotional rather than mathematical. Yep. If you ask anyone about finance, you shouldn't purchase a brand new a car. Brand new car. <laughs> and you shouldn't purchase an EV. What's yeah, EV? Electric. electric vehicle, yes, <laughs> you shouldn't. It's because um, number one, obviously it's a big amount of capital that mm -hmm. would be taking away from your investment journey, let's say, mm -hmm. uh, where it's, it is actually a depreciating asset mm -hmm. um, and you, know, you, you could probably earn a lot more um, somewhere else, um, yep. having an interest earned instead of an asset that is gonna depreciate to zero in a mm -hmm. sense. So this is so. a want. It's a what? So, <laughs> um, I guess, uh, like, for some people, probably, like, I actually want to know what is the breakdown when you're actually buying a, um, a new a, car, a new vehicle. We we both never ever bought a new car. I always purchase a second hand car. Mm -hmm. So, without further ado, in terms of the purchasing, it was uh, yeah because it's brand new. Mm. There was actually um, you gotta have to build the whole entire vehicle from yep. scratch yeah um, there is obviously a delay of that so um, mm. it took us about six, seven months seven months so when we order it was end of August 2022 yeah uh, once we order we're having the expectation expectation delivery day it was in between February to April I think yeah or to May this 2023 and then very sudden this week on tuesday today is saturday yeah. on tuesday tesla just bam 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 all these messages uh telling you with with like no news for that seven months yeah suddenly bam here as a vehicle assigned to you bam here's the amount you have to pay bam registration and yeah. then delivery day in, yeah. in like within, within less days. than a week yeah. but uh, i have to admit is quite simple yeah, the, mm. the whole experience, the buying process of it, it was um, flawless. Um, no yeah, human kind interaction, of. sort of. Oh, well, I had, you didn't have. I didn't, yeah. Uh, I called, <coughs> I'm still old fashioned. I like to talk to a real person if I can. Just make sure they're real. <laughs> <laughs> make sure it's not a scam as well, no, I guess, in a sense. Oh, yes, correct. So. Nowadays, it's just it's yeah. scary. So anyway, um, so we receive, um, I guess, the invoice for mm -hmm. the vehicle, and this is a breakdown of it. Yeah. So we purchased a Tesla Model Y, a mm -hmm. rear view drive, mm -hmm. um, a model year. It was it will be in 2023 when this is actually being delivered. Um, the color would be midnight silver. Um, it is a brand new um, from the factory. Um, the factory, I believe, this is built in China, China. Mm. Um, not the American version. Let's say too far. Uh, <laughs> uh, the build date apparently is actually back in February 2023. Mm. Um, so well, but they're pretty quick. It's just a month. So they, which means they build it in February and now end of March mm -hmm. already in Australia. So quite amazing. I think uh, mm. you know the, the I guess the mass it take a while. It take oh. a while for them to actually get out fulfill order. the order. No, they have yeah, to fulfill the previous order yeah. first. So yeah, a mid um, so the model is Model Y. Mm -hmm. um, the cost price of it is fifty five thousand three hundred and sixty three thousand dollars. Ex GST before GST, yeah. but including Ex GST, really. it comes down to about sixty thousand and nine hundred dollars. Mm. So you want to go to the next one? So maybe? that is it. Just the model because they have all these add up. Yep. And I don't know, was it model Y rear wheel drive? So we ordered the basic model. Um, the reason we're ordering it because we, we love Tesla. 
long time ago and then model three is just can't fit in the can fit in the family but we just like a bigger space with two young kids uh, of course we cannot afford model x so model y here you yeah. go and then uh, model y rear wheel drive is eight thousand dollars and then they mm -hmm. add on this oh, okay we we chose silver instead of the basic white to pay extend uh, extra one thousand five hundred dollars is it worth it i don't know it's just too many white one. I, 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 it's a taste. I, I can't your, tell. Yeah. Like, no, when, if I go on the road, which is mine, <laughs> they just all look the same. And then the other one would be, there would mm. be a delivery fee, even though we actually have to pick it up. <laughs> That's mm. a mechanism. Order sense. fee, yeah. Delivery Order. fee. Okay, oh, so a delivery yeah. fee of $1,375, yeah. mm -hmm. um, even though we actually still have to pick it up from mm. this showroom in a no, sense. No, they deliver from China to here. Oh, yeah, I, I suppose. assume. Yeah. yeah that, and then the yeah. other one would be, uh, what is that, order, order fee? fee? We paid $350, that yeah. was back in... August when we first purchased it. Now, at the current stage, we didn't actually put the autopilot um, mm. and that might be a feature that I'll probably add on later because on. at the beginning you really want it and I've said if you can add on you can add it in the future why do you have to pay now yep and then um, I'm not quite sure what rear wheel drive apparently it's zero but even though it is a wheel rear wheel drive rear -wheel. vehicle yeah um, all black premium interior which is all black. included you don't like the white one <laughs> we just get dirty from um, kids and you yeah, because like, okay, so we still have kids at the age of what, seven, seven and eight, eight, and they still, you know, um, go to primary school. They're bound to be a lot of crumbs. They're bound to, be, you know, really it's dirty just, from they, school. They're, they're not caring. <laughs> <laughs> so that was the reason why we chose black one. Um, the other one would be the what is it, premium interior. So all these are included. So mm -hmm. It's like zero premium interior, supercharged network access, or pay as you go because we still have to pay on top if we choose to use it. And then 19 inch Gem Gemini, wheel. Gemini wheels yeah. and then five seat interior. In Australia, we'll only have the five seat configuration. Um, if we can choose, yeah, maybe it's nice to have seven seater, but we only family of four. And family doesn't um, visit us often enough yeah. to have a seven seater. Mm -hmm. And then it's standard connectivity, right hand drive, that's it. What's the all up figure? The whole entire lot comes down to $72,125. Uh, $72, mm. So when we order, it was more expensive than that. And then they, they had a price decrease for, f I don't know how much. But yeah. I remember it was $76,000. And then they drop down to 72,000. Why not? And Happy. then at the mm. time that this is being, I guess, um, given us, uh, give mm. us the inv invoice. Yes, it is brand new, but however, it does have a three, three K uh, kilometers on the odometer reading. I presume that would be because they had to do a test drive. Um, they had to um, deliver mm. it from, I guess, from their factory to the boat and then yeah. delivering it from the boat back to the car yard mm. and whatnot. So it's expected to have, you're not going to have zero kilometers on the clock. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so um, the other time <coughs> that will be added would be um, this vehicle is actually registered for a private use. Um, mm. And the plate number, we didn't do any name or different mm. plate. What uh, for? <laughs> I don't know. <coughs> I'm not a big fan of it. Yeah. yeah. So we don't see any value of having mm. a different funny um, or number you know, plate configured based mm -hmm. on what you want. Yeah. Um, so we just do choose a standard one. Um, I think it's because it's under 75,000. That's why right. the luxury tax um, is actually at zero. Stamp, is it? I don't know. Stamp I'm duty at sure. zero. Um, stamp duty at zero because um, is an ele uh, EV. Vehicle. Yeah, electric vehicle in New South Wales. Different states have different route. So in New South Wales, I think under certain amount and if it's an ele EV, and you don't have to pay stamp duty. That's one of the reasons. Okay, I'm okay with that. Um, the other one would be motor vehicle registration. Mm. Um, that goes for the um, RMS, um, mm. and that's $535. Um, and CTP Green Sleep um, at $422. Mm. Uh, license plate fee, $129. Mm. Um, on road fees subtotal, we have to pay additional of $1,086. Yep. And all add up become seventy three thousand two hundred and eleven dollars. Yep, and we don't have any government subsidy, um, EV subsidy on this particular. Um, not purchase. in not in New South Wales. <coughs> Some other states they have. Yeah, depends on whatever state it is. 
Now, in the current stage, we actually have a very old vehicle. Mm -hmm. um, it's a Honda CRV 2008 model. Yep. Um, and we're actually going to trade that in. Um, at the current stage, it has an odometer reading of 160,000 yep. kilometers on it. Mm -hmm. um, trading value, <coughs> it was at $6,000. Yep. Um, so, in a sense. Yeah, it's pretty good. I, I do like the trading. So, first time we went um, to the shop, and uh, the guy said that they do, do they do do trade in and we were quite surprised and it's very easy process so we just do it online click trade in and put on all the details of that vehicle and then like, you took some picture put it up low and i'm just they 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 yeah. check it online that's all that's how they come up with the the amount and it's not um it, it is non-negotiable so just take whatever for us is easier we don't have to sell privately we don't have to get the hassle yep so we just take that i'm sure option. like if i were to sell this privately yes the vehicle probably can go a lot more higher than yep. this but i looked at the time the mm. effort of putting it into i, I guess you know private sale private sale yeah. waiting for a buyer mm. um you know get all these messages and and, and, <laughs> and the uh, hassle it's, organizing it's, the, yeah. the inspection time we did sell field vehicles before but um no <laughs> So in this instance, uh, it was a trading of six thousand mm -hmm. dollars. So um, with after, all that seventy three thousand yeah. dollars minus that six thousand, so what we have to pay, it was sixty six thousand eight hundred sixty one dollars from our hard earned money. That's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> now for us, now mind you though, we didn't actually take into account of um, if you are purchasing this on a finance, mm. we actually purchase this in cash yep. um, so that way it minimizes the problem of um, having to worry about you know, getting a loan mm -hmm. paying the interest what if we can't afford it so for our our rule of thumb is if we can't afford it if we can't pay by cash we don't pay it the only yeah the only difference is if you actually buy a property yes. um, that's the only time that you would get a loan or, yep. or a mortgage in a sense yeah because we believe that if you if you're getting a loan to purchase anything depreciate in value, it's not a good deal. Yeah. yeah. So that's just a breakdown, guys, based on our purchase. Um, um, that and it does take about what is it six or seven months or so. Be mindful of that if you are thinking from, of buying it. Yeah, from order to receiving. So, but once they have the vehicle assigned to you, it is within a week. So <laughs> Tuesday they contacted us. Yep. Okay, we we did all the whatever paperwork they asked for it, mm -hmm. it's done and then one night suddenly sent us a message, you choose your delivery time and they did it um, I, only two days on next Tuesday or Wednesday. So we had time on we'll we we'll have a we'll have time on Wednesday. So we're going to pick it up on Wednesday, which means once they have assigned vehicle to us, yep. it's only one week. The yep. process is really fast. Yeah, so if you are looking at um, purchasing a vehicle, yeah, for us, mm. we knew it will be coming, but we don't know when. Yeah. <laughs> so we had that money pretty much laying around and yeah. we weren't really investing it to anything. We just mm. put it aside. Mm -hmm. um, who knows when it's going to arrive. So um, I guess we'll show you guys later on when we actually receive the delivery of it. Yep. <laughs> mm -hmm. So this is just a breakdown, guys, based on our experience of buying a, um, a new vehicle on Tesla. Yep. Um, overall experience, what do you think? It's quite simple. It's just buying things online. We didn't even do a test drive. Yeah. <laughs> we went in and checked in the car with the kids, but we didn't bring the car seat. So nah, I can't be bothered. But we like the interior. We already know it. It is. It is. It's something that we really wanted. And then um, once we got the message saying oh, the car has been signed to you, we're so excited. Is it real? Is it real? <laughs> what do we do? What do we do? Um, there's a, there but it's be... really helpful. I call the support two times yep. and even I text you can return reply to the text message they're very helpful um, yeah excellent the whole entire process was, excellent uh, customer service but I'll see when we pick up and, and yeah we'll see go from there yeah okay there is a link um, in the description below um, if you guys choose to um, purchase a vehicle um, I will link um, the referral code so, mm. so yeah. Anyway, if you like this type of content, guys, um, don't forget to subscribe, comment. See you next time. Bye. 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 Oh yeah. The